Today we found a castle in the French countryside. It was so beautiful, a true mesmerizing sight. The former owner George left everything behind. He was a true mastermind and created art for humankind. Inside all the pictures and memories have been left behind. In every corner we found artifacts that held lots of history, but if examined closer, they appear to also hold some mystery. Let's go on an adventure throughout this place and figure out what happened to George and this mysterious base. Welcome back everybody to the channel of the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and I'm gonna take you on another epic adventure today. We are sitting here inside of an abandoned castle. Yeah, a grand home, a big home. It's a castle maybe or a manoir, I'm not 100% sure. But this place used to be inhabited by an artist. A French artist who produced beautiful artworks for the region and also the province. He was very well known. And uh, much more about this place, I'm, I don't have that information yet. But I'm going to take you on this adventure and we're going to figure it out together today. So uh, stay tuned because it's going to be an amazing place. You're not going to believe your eyes. Let's start off this exploration. As you just saw, everything is left in here. The place is completely untouched, no graffiti, no vandalism, just how the people left it behind. Even their table over here is still made with all the plates, all the cups and all the glasses that the last it drank from. Wow. Look at this fantastic cabinet over here. Completely filled with all the dishes that they used when people came over. This one is locked up when people came over to dine at their place. Over here we have a grand fireplace inside of the dining room. It must have been fantastic sitting here at this table and watching the fireplace, having dinner together. That must have been so incredibly fantastic. This might have been a former picture of the owner of this place, the artist that we just talked about. Beautiful. Dividing screen over here. Maybe when the fire got too hot, they placed it in front of here so you could sit here nicely and still enjoy the warmth of the fireplace. There's some sort of a storage area behind. And the boiler and the heater is over here. I can see here. Wow. More vases and cups and plates and everything is in here. On this side, they got this uh, coat hanger, but they use it for wine jugs. These are used in France. They store wine in it and they pour it from that. It's much more elegant than just from a bottle. Those French people, right? Some kitchen appliances that we don't see anymore today. Is this to crush garlic or something like it? Well, that's a strange device. Strange pair of scissors, I would say. Lovely cabinet. Let's turn around over here. See this side. Okay. Let's go further into this place. I'm quite excited to show you everything. It's going to be quite a long video. This would be the entrance hall. Oh yes, this is the entrance hall of the place. And this man might have also had the hobby of hunting. You can see he had this uh, pig's head up here. And this is a little... Oh, what's this? This looks like an arrow for a bow or something like it. Oh yes, it's an arrow for a bow. Maybe you hunt down the animals with a bow. That would be badass. A deer skull up here. Wow. Lovely to see all this. I have a few shares over here. And oh yes, that's, that's a good story to tell. Um, when people were rich in France, sometimes they didn't want people to come inside of their house if they only visited for a few minutes. That's why they placed these chairs over here in the entrance hall so people could sit down here. They gave them a cup of coffee, they drank their coffee and they were on the way again. They didn't have to come into their main living room and stuff like that. French people are quite reserved, I would say. 
I also had horses. You can see a horse helmet, horse riding helmet over here, and all the different things for horses. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's go a bit further. This is one of the first bedrooms already. No way. I believe that there are so many people inside of this place. I think like 10 to 20 people lived in this place. He had a very big family and they all were hosted inside of this place. Maybe he just get, yeah, he let all his family live inside of his home. Look at all this shiner that is left in here. There's no emblem on it. So it might be fake. I'm not 100% sure. This looks not like a bed actually, or it's a very small bed, but it's more like a little couch to rest on than a bed itself. But it's very nicely upholstered and everything. Look at the design on it. Wow. I just love furniture like this. And this is a picture of his. First bedroom already, incredible. And let's go back further throughout the house. <laughs> Le toilet, the toilet. <laughs> Always want to film the toilet. It's very important to do. And you have a lot of coat hangers over here. <laughs> it looks like we're coming into another dining room. Oh no, it's actually, I was a bit wrong. It's actually a dining room slash a kitchen, but they only, they use this dining room all the time. And the other one is only when guests came or family came or it was an important event, then they use the other dining room. This one is just a little bit smaller and a little bit less fancy, I would say. It's really not that less fancy, it's a fantastic dining room, but yeah. Wow. The jacks and cups. This is a cutting, cutting block for our fionda, for our meat. <laughs> Sorry, I speak a little bit French now. <laughs> I've been going exploring with French people for the last uh, five days and my French has improved dramatically. A cleaver, so they would use this one to cut onto this block, the meat. Also a little oven in here, as you can see. Can I open this one? This is probably a bread oven. I don't want to ruin it or something like that, so I'm gonna leave it like that. But it, it runs on wood down there. You put wood into it. Wow, a duck and everything. Here's probably another oven. And the wooden gloves in front of it. They look very Dutch. The French people also used to wear them. That not only a Dutch icon. Wow, this is a lovely bellow. Look at this thing. It's the, yeah, beautiful bellow. All the plates here in the cabinet. Fantastic. No history yet. Come on. I need to find something. There are not that much papers inside of this place, unfortunately. And also no calendars or anything like that. Okay. Wait, first go back, because I also saw a basement down here. <laughs> it's a very strange basement. It's a crawling basement, I think. Like we call them in the Netherlands and in Belgium. Oh, that's very small. And it's been blocked there. Okay, let's go further, because I'm excited to see what this place has to offer. It's already very interesting by now. I think it's going to be even more spectacular later on. Okay, let's see what this room holds. <laughs> Three dining rooms in a row? You serious? You freaking serious? And also still made dining room. This one is even less fancy than the other two. Uh, so I suppose this was maybe for the workers or something like it. Hmm. Strange. 
a cabinet completely filled with glasses. As you can see, wow, beautiful stuff. And I was looking at this. Does this look like a fireplace? Yes, this used to be a fireplace. Wow. Okay. Not a cabinet here in the hallway. Filled with bed linen. Oh, sorry, bed linen. Cleaning utilities. Hmm. No way, this is the room. I saw this picture from a friend of mine and she sent it to me and she says, do you want this place? And I was like, of course I do, I want this place. And this is the room that I came for, the blue bedroom, we call it. And it's the room actually of the artist. They believe that he created all his works in here. He has all his literature here. Wow, beautiful old school books all left behind. Lovely stuff. He had a piano inside of this room. Let's see it. Uh, look at the pictures over here. Okay. What are these? Are these gun shells or cigarettes or what is it? I don't know what this is. Fortune telling cards. Oh, yes. Wow. This is a little news article. You got the same picture of this boy coming back. But there's also a girl now in the picture. And flag, a flag. Then this beautiful piano. Let's see if it still plays. I think it's an electric piano. Look at this. Just incredible, with a sculpture next to it. This man must have been incredibly rich. And here we see the first signs of his, of his occupation. See, this is a drawing that he made himself. And I see a drawing book down there, so I'm gonna grab it. Okay, let's see what we can find inside of there. Oh, there are multiple drawing books here. I'm gonna only open this one, I think. Oh, wow, this is incredible. He drew a picture of a baby over here. I'm gonna place this all back later. I'm gonna show you a few that he made. Picture of this lady. And he did it very professionally. You can see he drew the lines and he centered everything around the nose, symmetrical. Very cool. Okay, maybe we can find a name on here somewhere. See, over here is a name. Aha, aha. S uh, Mr. George, Georges. It's a French name and it's probably from the artist that lived here. Yes, I see the same name, George is coming back, coming back, so this is probably his name, so we're gonna name him George from now on. Okay, let's put this all back and go further with the video. And this was a sketchbook or a sketching plate, I think, the pot lots he used. And we see the picture of him coming back again. This was Mr. Mr. George's, you can see him over here. I love this bed, it's an upholstery blue bed. But this one is the same we saw in the first 
uh, or in that other room, that other room that we thought was a, a bedroom. This is probably just a, a couch to sit on that he used uh, or to lie down on when he was drawing in this room. And he had a fireplace in here, a very grand fireplace. Here to the side, I see some oil lamps, magnificent oil lamps. Look at this fireplace. Say it is, it is uh, from Godin, a French brand. This one is from France and a praying chair as well. I'm wondering what this is. This is his family tree, as you can see. So he figured out where he came from, but I don't see Mr. George's anywhere on here. Hmm. Wow. What a grand hallway. No way. Let's go further and see the other bedrooms that are in here. I believe this is another one. Oh yes. Beautifully pink made bed. All these beds are upholstered like that. They are very expensive. They don't make furniture like this anymore. Lots of books. Maybe a child. Uh, this was maybe a child's room. Let's see if there's any date on here. Mm, no, 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 no date. And here we have the bathroom with this very typical small bath. You can see this is a sitting up, set up right inside of this bath. My uh, granddad also had a bath like that. Very basic bathroom. From the bedroom, we walk into another room. Let's see. Oh, this is uh, more like a sitting area. I don't think they use this room that much inside of this place. It's just like they had another spare room and like, let's fill it with furniture and maybe we'll ever drink a coffee in here or something like that. That's something that rich people do. I'm not gonna film here because there is uh, addresses on here and don't want to reveal this place. Over here on this side, we have an accountancy cabinet. So you see, this turns into a little desk and you can sit in front of it and you can count all the money and the different expenses in here, like that. Very interesting. A few more cabinets and let's head on to the next room. Another very beautiful bedroom with incredible antiques left behind over here. Got some fake flowers. <laughs> Lovely, always the fake flowers. I think, oh my gosh, there are real flowers inside of this abandoned place. And then I go look and they're just plasticky. Coffee table. Mm hmm. Hmm, this looks like a bag for the artist where you could transport <laughs> not clothes I would say his artwork but he just drew some clothes inside of here maybe this was his travel bag Mr. George his travel bag also got a cabinet it's quite oh there's some clothes inside of here actually pretty fancy clothes wow some costumes of his lovely let's put this in front it's another divider and we got yet another abandoned upholstered bed. They should be in homes, they shouldn't be in abandoned places. Whoa, this feels so nice. Such a beautiful bed. Just left here. Forgotten. What's this? <laughs> this looks like a huge storage room. And it's also very grand. It's like six meters high. Six meters is like 18 feet or something like that. For the people from America. He stored a lot of stuff inside of here. Let's see if we can find some artifacts. Yeah, first off, of course, we got the piano over here. But what's more, what's even more, there's some sort of an animal here. 
Is this a goat skin? Oh yes, this is a goat skin. No way. See the horns of the goat here? On top of the piano. Still plays. Isn't that incredible? Wow. What did he all store up here? A newspaper? Let's have a look. 6th of November, 1957. Look at that. Incredible, but he made some sort of a booklet out of it. He stitched it together and he made some sort of a book out of this newspaper. This is a cover for a sewing machine. This looks like a piano house. Oh no, for you put bread inside of it to keep it fresh. Keep it fresh during the day. Or if you want to use it the day after, day after that. Be careful where I'm walking. Wow, it's just insane over here. I was considering going up this ladder, but at the end I'm not gonna do it. It's just too dangerous in my opinion. Let's go back through the hallway. I have already seen so much inside of this place, but I think I've not even seen the half of it. The beautiful parts are still to come. So uh, yeah, you have to keep watching because this place is gonna get even more insane. Back at the front of the hallway right now, there's another flights of stairs up here. And this leads us into another part of the building. This part, part features white walls instead of pink walls. And I see already here, another bedroom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. The first thing we see over here is a picture of a woman together with a dog. Beautiful furniture in here. And we got also a baby crib. Look at that. But that, what I like the most inside of this room is this vanity here at the window. So you could sit here, the lady that lived here in this side of this room, she could sit here watch outside a beautiful garden just make herself pretty in the morning isn't that just great the cabinet here in the hallway features the bed linen for the beds they definitely had some mates working for them this they couldn't do all of this themselves of course a little table here in the hallway hmm. Let's go further. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna believe what I just saw. This definitely is the master bedroom of the place where Mr. George slept probably together with his wife. <laughs> Look at the curtains hanging here from the top of the bed onto this bed. This is just insane. Wow. Over here to the side of the bedroom, we have a little sitting area where they could draw something, maybe you read something, watch out of the window onto the fields. It's just fantastic to see. Look at the artifacts left here. This looks like, oh, I have to be careful with this beautiful umbrella. I'm gonna place it here. Look at all these people here. They look so old school. These might have been children from Mr. George or his parents or something like that. You can fold it like this. Incredible. I also really like this little umbrella. A lovely umbrella. Place it back here picture of a woman here on the wall and this might have been a wedding picture of Mr. George and his wife wow look at this army boy over here hmm. <laughs> 
this boy we have been seeing going back inside of this place like multiple times on multiple occasions these are letters that have been sent out there's even something inside of here let's have a look at it a little souvenir i think what's this oh wow let me see gonna place it back later on what's this look here i just pulled it out of the uh, look at this just pulled it out of the package and these are two gun shells. They got sent to him by somebody. Wow. I'm gonna put it back later, so don't worry. Wow. Incredible. All this army stuff. Maybe Mr. George was in, in the army and he just kept all these things as a memory of those times. had a big fireplace over here in their bedroom. This must be so nice to sit, lie in bed over here, have the fireplace on and just enjoy each other. Anybody want some money? No, it's old Frank, old French currency over here. Probably doesn't, isn't worth that much anymore nowadays. Beautiful flowers. Another picture of a lady up there. Wow. Okay, let's go further. Otherwise we will never finish this place. Over here we got a grand square, a plaza. As you can see, all the buses driving around. Wow. Another bedroom. And also a very, very beautiful one. Still made bed over here. Nightstands next to it. Incredible to see. Chandelier presenting the room. And yet again, yet again, we have the picture of Mrs. Mr. George. This must definitely be Mr. George coming back. Here he is together with his, uh, with his dog in the army. Wow. Very religious as well, these people. Okay, some animals, uh, some bears over here. These might have been from the children. Okay, I'm gonna save that for later because that's the big room with the pianos that was just inside. But let's go up here and check the upstairs out before we go there. You can see the building is already a little bit deteriorating at the top. That is the attic. Let's go here, left first. Is the bathroom. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful bath. <laughs> Look at this bath. No way. On the floor of this bathroom are thousands and thousands of wasps or bees. I don't know. Wow. Crazy. Okay, let's look at the other side. Some board games up here. Lovely to see. Let's check out this room. Another bedroom. A very small one, I think. Oh, yes. Not really that interesting. Let's go through here. Whoa, this one is really a complete mess. It looked like, it looked like somebody was searching something inside of here. Hmm, maybe he was searching for money or they just drew stuff inside of here. That's also a possibility. Wow. Then we come into another bedroom. Oh, it's so incredibly hot today here in France. I'm sweating. Oh, okay, but this is the last location for today, so let's finish it up and uh, don't slow down right now. 
keep producing those incredible videos for everybody. Have just a look at the bedroom that I just stepped inside of. This bed is one of the most beautiful that I've ever seen. <sighs> the carvings on it here on the top are just insane. Two nightstands next to it. I'll show you the front of the bed as well. And then this chair here in the corner. But what I also just noticed, oh, excuse me. Look at this cabinet as well. <laughs> Isn't that just great? But what I also just noticed is here in the hallway, that this beautiful setup with the Perfecta. Perfecta, that's a new brand of sewing machines. I haven't seen that before. All the pictures on the wall. And the Tiesco. Wow. There's even one here on the floor. Okay, it's now time to take a look in the grand room over here. Let's go inside. That must have been an amazing feeling coming down the stairway in the morning when you came out of bed and walking into a room like this. Just have a look at this view. The two pianos over there, the beautiful chandelier hanging up here. Wow. They had a little reading area on this side. I think you could sit here, chill out a little bit. And read some stuff. Insane, just insane. And a few steps down, we come into that grand room that I was talking about. Wow. Look at this. Beautiful chairs next to this coffee table. What's this over here? It's <laughs> like a little storage room or something like that. I also love this, this green chair. I think it's a green one, yes. I'm a little bit colorblind, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Beautiful lamps next to it. Look at this goblin over here. Wow. And I was just, I have started the video in front of this piano over here. Let's test it out. Still works. The music notes are up here. I got a full basket over here, full of these books with music notes. Above the piano over here, there are some drawings that he probably made himself. I'm quite surprised that there aren't more drawings inside of this place. Because he was an artist, of course, you would imagine that his whole house would be filled with paintings that he made himself. But maybe he didn't paint that much. I only found sketches. Let's test out this one. Magnifique. And now we got these two lounging chairs to end it off over here. Just wow. To end it all off, I'm going outside and we'll show you the outside of this place. Look how overgrown it all is over here. The whole windows are overgrown. The whole building is overgrown. Let's show you outside because it's magnificent. Look at this. There's some sort of a German style in here. We saw that the owner was interested in uh, hunting, of course, and that might be contributing to the outside of this place. But this place is just huge. Let's take a little stroll around it before we end off this video and show you the outside over here. Completely overgrown with ivy. I truly adore places like this in France and I hope to find many more in the future and I will definitely will do so. So make sure to subscribe to the channel.
wow it's incredibly hot over here in france i'm just sweating right now okay everybody thank you very much for watching this week's video what an insane place <laughs> excuse me for such a long video but it was well worth it and uh, yes with that all being said please give us a like this helps the channel and helps grow subscribe to the channel and in the link there will be a, uh, in the description there will be a little link to patreon there you can support the channel and uh, keep it healthy and keep me exploring around the world i want to thank william behind the camera who helped me out sarah who was with me both our links will be in the description and uh, as always i will see you next week with another epic adventure bye bye love you